Okay, let's go through the plan again. Sure. I deactivate the underwater mines. We get the keys to the prison. We rescue the prisoners, open the hangar door, and out we go. Outside? That's the problem. We are outside. I'm not worried about the mines. My concern is, how do we get inside? Guys, you there? We were just thinking about you. Did you get the security papers? Yes, but you'll have to disguise yourself as an official and drive the others into the base with a vehicle. It seems to me that it is going to be as difficult getting in as it will be getting out. Hey, you guys. Here's the good news. Do you have the whistle? Yes, we all have it. Good. You meet our new colleague. I'm sure the Green Beret will be over the moon. He's not with us, but we can call him using the radio later on. Okay, Das Boot. So we've got our three characters here in the boat just off the shore. We've got the diver, we've got the spy, and we've got the sapper. And the first thing to note is that we are in the same map as the previous level, Night of the Wolves, except that the area to explore has got bigger. We've now got this massive submarine pen here, which is where our kidnapped sailors are, uh, which is where we're going to sneak in and rescue them. So this part down here is the same as the previous level, Night of the Wolves, when it was dark. So if you haven't watched that level, maybe have a look at that one first. This part was where we left the thief and uh, Natasha in the previous level, uh, and now the map has expanded to reveal the submarine pen and this railway station and this electrical area here and all sorts of other uh, exciting stuff over there. So that's what we are dealing with here. And the first thing to do is to clear this row of underwater mines because we can't do anything else including sailing the sub out of here at the end unless we use the diver to clear them. So the first thing to do is to put the Aqualung on uh, so that he can swim underwater and we are going to submerge and clear the underwater mines. So here's the first one and they're just in this row here and we're just going to do this first. Now he is wearing an Aqualung. Now, I'm pretty sure that this is set in 1941 and I don't think the Aqualung was actually invented until a bit later. Yeah, I think that is a slight anachronism, but not that anybody else probably cares, but anyway. When was the Aqualung invented? That is a good thing to find out. Okay, so we're going to clear that one next as well. And we're just going to head on over to uh, the next ones, wherever they've gone. There we are, there's the next one. That's very disorientating under here. Especially when you spin the map around and then you get all turned around. Which is a bit like what actual diving is like, I suppose. Yeah, here we're just going to have to be a little bit careful because we're starting to get close to the edges here. And there's going to be people up here. Right, that's the last one. You can use this Q button to pop up and sneak a look out of the water. It's a bit like peering through a door. You don't need to commit, you can just kind of check first. Uh, which is what's happening here. Yet yeah, there is a guy right next to me, so I'm going to go back underwater and I'm just going to swim a little bit further away from where he was and then I'm going to try and do it again. And he seems to be set on some kind of loop. I think he's, yeah, he's going to scan each side at a time. So if I just pop up here, okay, this is a bit like the equivalent of crawling. It looks like he can't see me there. But he is going to be turning his head every now and again. Yeah, there we go. Now the diver is, in a way, kind of more useful than the Green Beret with his knife because the diver can actually throw his knife. Ooh, gosh, he nearly saw me there. The diver can throw his knife, whereas Green Beret can't. So if I chuck a knife at that guy, I can... Uh, you can basically hit someone with a knife from a distance, whereas Beret has to actually sneak up uh, with his knife. And uh, so the diver, this Aussie guy, he is... I'm starting to think he's actually a bit more a bit more useful. Uh, I never used to use him that much in this game, although with this level you kind of have to start with him. Right, I might as well change out of the uh, of the uh, Aqualung. Although presumably he's still got to carry that around with him and that would be <laughs> really heavy. Okay, so there is a sniper there who has this even more kind of tunnel vision than normal, if that's possible to believe but I guess that's so that they give you a bit more of a, a chance because he can see really far he can see for miles this guy now I also want to get rid of him but I have to be careful because there is another sniper 
up here who seems to keep seeing him. So I am going to try the knife on him again. And then I need to kind of try and grab it. But I need to do that real quick. There we go. Uh, I can't take the sniper ammo. I mean, I could, but there wouldn't be much point because the sniper isn't in this level, so I'm just going to drop him in the water there. Which seems to be a good way to get rid of bodies. Now, I am actually going to be saving this, but I'm probably going to be cutting out the saves so that you don't need to wait for me to save every few minutes. So it's not that I'm not saving, it's just that I am cutting them out to save some time. Oh, come on, buddy. I just want to get you back in the water. Come on. All right, there we go. Okay, so, now I'm going to swim back to the boat. To be honest, I could probably drive the boat just to the edge of the uh, map here. Not that it really matters, I mean, the alternative is you make them all swim. But, uh, oh, we'll go in reverse. <laughs> this is going to be like some like it hot. It uh, seems to be stuck in reverse. Okay, we're going to take these guys to the edge of the map and... That seems to hit a solid wall. <laughs> a bit like the Truman Show. Okay, that's all of them out of the boat. So, who do we need to keep an eye on? We need to keep an eye on this Joker up here, probably. Yeah. I don't know if swimming fast is the equivalent of running. I don't know if that makes a difference, but... Just swim past the world's worst lookout up here on the lighthouse. Now, this is the minefield, so we need to be careful here. This is one for the sapper. I seem to remember there was a line of mines on this side and a line of mines on this side. I think the space in between is clear, so this guy at the other end is probably going to be our next, our next uh, worry. Has he got shears? He does have shears. This time he's actually bothered to show up with the equipment he needs. He's got the metal shears and he's got uh, the mine detector, so we are fine. So, here we go, we'll cut through there, and then we will start detecting mines. So, what have we got here? We've got to do our usual thing of walking very close to the mines. Yeah, there they are, they're appearing now. And the thing is, you can actually pick these up and lay them yourself. You can put them down somewhere else and use them on the enemy. So, um, that can also be useful, but I'm not going to do that now. Oh, we got a we got a guy there as well. Is there anyone else that can see me? What about this guy? I was trained for this. You know what? I don't think I actually need to go as far as the wall. So I'm just going to leave these like this. And I'm not going to lay them for enemies because we are trying to do this stealthily without raising any any alarm, which I'm pretty sure counts towards your uh, your points at the end of the mission. I think it's a bit like a secondary objective, you know, you get more you get more points if you didn't uh, raise the alarm too much. So you can fire guns and things in inside buildings, but what I tend to do is try and be as stealthy as I can when I'm out in the open, which usually means using knives or, or punching and tying up. Um, so I'm going to go back to Diver now because he is pretty versatile because of his knife throwing. So the diver, oh no, wait a minute, I can't do that yet because I still need to clear a path with Sapper. I still don't have a uniform to put on, so I'm just going to have to do this carefully when this guy's back's turned, like now. Oop, diver, stay there. Right. There's a, nu there's a mine already. Okay. Here come the mines. I think there's probably going to be one right right on the edge of the map. There's usually one right on the edge. Yeah, there it is. But now he's turned back, so I'm just going to... I didn't think I had time to deactivate that one. I'm just going to be very, very careful here. I don't want to walk onto that. Okay, so as soon as his back's turned, I am going to cut through this wire. knock him out and luckily no one has seen now this is the only uniform I have at the moment so I'm gonna give it to the spy because I don't know is it just me but does he always seem really out of place if he doesn't have a uniform like I'm never used to seeing him in his kind of civilian clothes 
I'm, I always feel better once I've put him in a uniform. And unlike the other characters, his uniform doesn't run out, which is a bit of a weird concept, but if you leave the other guys in uniform for too long, uh, weirdly, they um, they kind of lose them. They, they run out of uniform. Uh, mine detector. Okay. Did I deactivate that one? I can't really tell. Yes, I did. Okay, fine, I did. So I'm just going to leave those ones there as a kind of clear path. I'm going to leave Sapper there, a diver there. Alright, so we've got our spy who can go up and talk to people. Okay, so we've got our front gate here and a couple more guards. Got a guard over there and a guard over there who can see me. Um, now, let's consult our objectives. Uh, we need to... We need to pass the security papers to the spy using the dog. So, what happened last time was the thief ended up in here at the end of Night of the Wolves, the previous level. And from what we can make out, during the night he has stolen some uh, security papers. I think that's what those are. So if I pass them to Whiskey the dog and I open open this door, I think, because the dog can't presumably open the door, then what I do is I select one of the others who's standing there in a suggestive manner. Um, I'm going to, I think I use the whistle, the whistle business, which I never really understood. The whistle is to call the dog. Right, let's see if the dog... Yeah, there we go. It's worked. The dog brings the security papers to the spy. There we go. And that's kind of like... That was the only time I ever really used the whistle. Like, I think that was kind of it. They made this big thing about the dog being a character. Uh, you know, in the sort of um, booklet that came with the game and all of this. But to be honest, like, I never really... I never really used the dog for very much. I know you can use him to distract enemies as well, uh, but I never really did very much of that. I think he can bark and stuff like that, but I never did much of that. Okay, so now I've got the security papers. Although, if I remember rightly, the idea is that you're meant to drive in dressed as an official, and I have yet to see anyone do this um, kind of properly. Like, I always tried driving the car up to the gate, and I kind of thought that this guy would maybe open the gate and let the let the spy in dressed as an official, because it does say that. It does say that in here. Enter the base disguised as an official. But um, the gate doesn't seem to open on its own, and the only versions of this I've ever seen is everyone kind of has to clear this manually. Like, they kind of have to do what, you know, you would normally do. So, I am going to start by trying to get rid of as many of these guys as I can, subtly. So let's talk to him for a start. This officer can't see me. The officer I need to keep an eye on because he'll be able to recognize me. So I'm going to go back to Diver because Diver's fully qualified, as he keeps telling us. But also, he can throw the knife. So I am going to use... I've still got some cigarettes, so I'm going to use the cigarette trick on this guy if he stops moving. I'm going to go for the cigarettes right there. I can either punch or knife. You know what? I think I can just punch this guy. There we go. He's seen them. I use the knife when it's more of an emergency in it, when it has to happen very quickly. But uh, you, you do actually get more points because neutralized enemies without shooting and without killing are two of the categories you get points for, which I think actually makes this game really, really good. I'm just going to carry him away again. I'm going to carry him as far as I can, just in case anyone anyone sees him. Gosh, he really does go close to the edge there of the map. You see, that's why you've got to be really careful with those mine detectors. I'm just going to make room here with the uh, harpoon and the uh, grappling hook. Again, I don't know if it's just me. I never really used the grappling hook very much. Diver seems to just carry all this really heavy stuff. And I always feel like I used about 5% of it. <laughs> We're now down to this guy. This guy's the next one I need to use the cigarettes on. So I'm going to try exactly the same trick again. I'm going to throw them about there. And now Frenchie can stop uh, his conversation. And we will see if the other guy spots them. Yeah, he spotted them. And you got to be careful with cigarettes because he uh, they don't always go in a straight line. They might have to curve around something like those steps. So don't expect them to not turn their heads at all. 
because they might need to and then they might see something that they shouldn't so you just need to be a bit careful with those all right so I'm gonna pick the cigarettes up again okay so what I'm gonna do because I am a lowly foot soldier and I want to get this guy's uniform that is a CO that is a commanding officer and I can talk to more people like the lieutenant if I have a higher ranking uniform so I'm gonna use the syringe now the spy can't punch people but he can tie up so he uses the syringe to um, knock them out the first one makes them woozy the second one makes them fall over uh, a third one kills them but I'm just gonna try and use two hopefully no one's gonna see this I think he's out of range so I only needed to use two and then he is tied up I'm gonna take his uniform and his cigarettes because they're bad for him and now if I hit D I can turn into a commanding officer and this means that I can go over and talk to this lieutenant whereas if I'd tried it before he outranks me so I wouldn't have been able to do that not even with my super spy amazing skills apparently <laughs> God, loads of people are seeing him all right fine well this is the guy that I want to get rid of next so I'm gonna use the cigarettes on him and I just need to find actually you know what I could probably I could probably use them on him next he's a pain because he's wandering around and if I open this door I'll just put them somewhere where he can see them because as we know these guys have fairly thin fields of view I'm just gonna put them there in the doorway and with any luck this customer will uh, will spot them hey there we go that's what we want so and again this is why I've been moving the tied up guys because if you leave them too close to this area someone will come over looking for cigarettes and <laughs> they will run over and start untying a load of people so there is actually that guy there, the CEO, but uh, I think he's tucked away behind the car there. So I'm just going to keep putting them over here just for a minute. It takes a little bit longer, but I think it's wise. It's a good habit to get into because suddenly before you know it, someone's going to run over and start shooting, shooting somebody that you're not paying attention to. And we don't really want that. Okay. So there's this guy up here. Does anyone see him yet? Yeah. This guy probably can see him. Yes, he can. So I think the guy walking around is going to be the next target. I'm now in a uniform, at least. Oh, now I'm in a uniform. Okay. So, let's try cigarettes over here. Yeah, there we go. I hope he's not going to see... Oh, he has seen him. Okay, this is why this, is why this doesn't work. Oh, but you know what? He didn't see me around the side of the car, so it's okay. Alright, well, he can join his buddy there. So now we've got... They're quite well placed, these guards. Like, they're all, they're all seeing another one just on the edge of their view. Okay, he's still talking to the lieutenant there. I can go and pick up my cigarettes again. Now, if memory serves, I can actually get up this ladder, bizarrely, without him seeing me, uh, because he's right, he's right on the edge there. But this might be a job for the knife, because it might be safer to do with a knife. Well, maybe, maybe I can't knife him. Okay, I'm, you know what, I'm going to have to climb the ladder. I'm going to have to climb the ladder and see what happens. But just in case, quick. Yes, there we go. Now, the thing about this body up here is I can't actually move this guy. I'm just going to have to leave him up here because I don't think there's any way to throw a body off uh, a building. You know, which is probably not a good idea at the best of times. Now we've got the lieutenant, but we've also got this guy to keep an eye on who keeps walking around. So I'm just going to pick my moment to knock, knock this guy out. As soon as he turns, I can probably probably do it. Okay, he's now shielded. Okay. 
I'll just hide him down here for now, out of the way. Yeah, now this is what I mean, like, I could never figure out a way of opening the um, the gate and doing the thing that it says you need to do, driving the, the spy in. Because that is one gate control, there is another one in there. I might just do it after I've cleared all these guys, just so that I can sort of complete the objective. But, I mean, it always makes it sound like you should be doing it under the eyes of all these guys. But, um, yeah, I could never get it to work like that. They don't automatically open the gate for the spy, even if he's dressed as a commanding officer, and even if he's in the car with the papers. Right, I'm now going to talk to this guy, because he's the only one that can see this chap. And now I'm going to... Oh, and another trick is, even if you can't wear their uniform, if you take the uniform off and then put it back, it does just turn them into uh, a, a guy in their underwear, which means that even if they get untied, they are not going to be a problem, they're just going to run off the map. For shame! because they've lost their uniform and that seems to be what makes them run away. <laughs> okay, so, as soon as he turns around, I might use the knife on him as well actually because he's a, he seems to move around quite a lot. All right, here we go. All right. And I need to be careful of sound waves because there is usually a guard just on each of these little lookout towers. And even if you're running around on the other side of the wall, Sometimes they can hear you, right? I've got a full gun now, full machine gun, but I'm probably not going to be using it very much. At least not yet, not when I'm outside. So I don't think anyone can see there. If you press the, if you press the, uh, the eye button somewhere on the ground, you get this red X and it shows anyone that can see that area, not just one specific soldier. That's another good tip. I'm just going to keep getting the uniforms anyway, just because it, it, uh, it incapacitates the people that you've tied up. You see, I think even like, yeah, you see, there's, they're, 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 they're dotted around at intervals, these guys, on the outside wall. I normally uh, take care of some of them last, but sometimes they can be a bit of a pain because they end up seeing stuff that they shouldn't see uh, on raised surfaces like here. So I might actually take out a few more of these guys now, and that is going to give me fewer problems later on, I think. There is that big scary tank thing driving around, but I think if I'm lucky I can take down a few more of these guys, just on the outside of the wall. So I'll talk to him, and that leaves this guy ready to be visited by the diver. Not with a body though, come on man, that would be a terrible idea. Oh, you see what I mean? I think I just ran, and this guy heard something. So you need to be very careful when you move, move quickly, because your uh, your footsteps do carry. Okay, here's the next guy, and I don't think anyone else can see him. I think it's just the guy that I've engaged in some important military conversation. <laughs> so I'm going to try and knock him out. There we go. It's just one less to worry about later, so I think it is worth doing at this stage. Now I've got a full uniform. But anyone who isn't the spy uh, runs out of uniform after a while. As if that's something that you can run out of. It just like, <laughs> it just runs out. Okay, well, let's see if I can take this guy down as well. I think I can, with any luck. Yeah, looks like it. Okay, so that at least takes care of a few more of these folk. Now I've used up my, I, I've uh, used up my allowance of uniform. I'd love it if they actually had to carry ten uniforms around, just like ten rifles or whatever it is. <laughs> okay, well, Spy can start taking them instead. Okay, so, and I've just tucked anyone who is unconscious or dead in against the walls here because I don't want to leave them on show. Let's go. I think at this point I can probably bring Sapper out. Um, because okay. he was waiting there for a long time. Again, I still don't want to raise raise the alarm, but I'm just yes. gonna I'm just gonna bring Sapper a little bit closer, leave him down there, leave Diver here. 
And next, I think I can probably look inside the radio room. And as I'm an officer, I can go where I like. Oh, there's loads of them. Okay, there's three guys. So how do I get rid of them silently? Well, I think I talked to this guy in the middle. Now, if I knocked him out first, I think the other two would hear. But because he is being engrossed in conversation, I think if I take down these two guys... Yeah, you see, it's turned red. His field of view is turned red, but he is not turning to look. So I can knock down the other two and then finally knock down this guy. And that is how to do it. Because if they're too close, they will... they will hear. Now, this is another place to open the gate. So, it could be that I do the thing with driving the car into the base uh, by by using the control in there instead of in there. Because the crazy thing about there is you, you walk in there and then you trap yourself because the door <laughs> opens and you can't get out if you try and open the door that way. Anyway. Um, who else have we got? We've got him there, and then we've got these two guys having a chat. So I am now going to walk in here and talk to this guy. That's what I'm going to do next. We've got a guy up there, and we've got a guy there. Okay, well I'm going to talk to this soldier, because that means that I can now surely get rid of this guy using Diver. No worries, mate. So, I'm going to try and sneak round under his little balcony there, under his veranda. I hope I don't... Oh, boy. I might have just crawled it to his view. No, I guess I haven't. Okay. Now, if people come running, this is a bad idea. Oh, but I guess they don't. And I'm going to assume there's nobody in this little... Come on, buddy, pick him up. There we go. I'm going to assume there's nobody in here. Ah, there is a, a metal box, which, as we know, uh, only the thief can open. Ah, the thief is in there. Let's Maybe we should go and get the thief next. I think that's what we should do. We should break out the thief. We should break out the thief in a minute. Although, to be honest, I can probably probably get rid of these two guys. I don't think he can see them. The only other person that might see them is this guy, maybe? Oh, no, 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 he's too far away. Okay, well, yeah, you know what? Let's just take down the guy that isn't being spoken to first, because the other guy won't react. Like a good soldier being spoken to by a presumably quite French-sounding German <laughs> officer. <laughs> And now we can take down the guy that is being spoken to. Yeah, you see, he's turned red, but he ain't moving. Okay, excellent. And at this stage, we might as well go and get Sapper, the slowest crawler in the world. So I'm just going to make him run. All right, so... And I never really... I never used to bother with getting Sapper, like, uniforms and guns and all of that, because... I mean, he's usually busy. He carries, like, heavy stuff. Him and the diver, they seem to carry so much heavy stuff. But just for now, just so that these guys uh, are basically sort of neutralized, I'm just going to take their, their uniforms and give them to Sapper. All right, so I think at this point we can rescue the thief. And we, we need to check that metal box once we've done that. I love the spy because he can just walk in. He's like Natasha. He can walk in straight away. And you can just check out anything. As long as there isn't an officer, which is what you have to be careful of, he can just wander in and uh, scope out an area. Now, where is he looking? He's not... He's not especially in the way, but he's not... I mean... Yeah. I'm going to have to be careful when I come in the door, though, because... It's not going to be mega easy to get him. I don't think. Let me see if I can knife him real quick. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and you can throw bodies out of windows as well. So if you need to quickly get rid of a body and there's nobody on the other side who will cause a fuss, uh, you just end up with another uh, with another body just outside the window there. So for our purposes, that will do just fine. All right, so we've got two guys in here and one guy 
being spoken to by the spy. Let's get rid of this guy first. The doors are both shut, so I'm clear to move. And I'm going to knock this guy out next. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting full of uniforms and bullets and things here, but if you do leave him in the uniform for long enough, he will, you know, the uniforms will kind of disappear, as is, uh, as is, as is the same in everyday life. Don't you just hate it when you wear your uniform for too long and it just disappears? Um, I haven't spoken to him in a brilliant place, actually. I'm going to speak to him here, because now... Oh, that's even worse. No, I want to speak to him there, that's it. Now I can come in and open this door and get rid of this chap. So yeah, I um I tend to do a lot of it with punching and tying up because you do get you do get a better score out of it. I, I really like that aspect about these games. I think it's it's good. It's a lot less bloodthirsty than some of them. Um Alright, well we could probably just do the cigarettes for this guy. Yeah, there you go. The amount of guys that you can get with the cigarette trick. Uh, you, you can do it with wine bottles as well. Bottles of wine is the other one. Uh, and of course you can you can drug the wine as well. I never really used to bother with doing that, but it's kind of, I suppose it's better than cigarettes really in the sense that, you know, if you leave them after they've drunk some, then they can, then they'll fall asleep. So it's like punching somebody. It's the same thing as punching somebody. All right. So, Thief is in here. Now, is there any furniture in here t to get bonuses? I don't think there is. It's just places to hide. And we don't need to hide anymore. Alright, so Thief, I'm going to send to that metal box before I forget. Let's see what's in here. Yes. Hello. We got some... We got some bombs. That's great. Sapper is going to start building up a, an armory. And I think we're going to find more of those pretty soon. Let's go! Let's go. Yes, yes. So, who have we got here? Well, we got these guys, but they are not a, not a problem for now. You know what? I think I'm going to clear this area next, because I seem to remember there are more bombs to be found down there. And, uh, yeah, you know what? If we take out this area of the map that just sort of keeps things neat and tidy so I'm gonna keep using diver as like our main guy to go around clearing enemies because he's got the throwable knife and uh, you know he's not he's not quite as useless as the thief in terms of stuff that he can do uh, there's this this chap there as well all right well I might start with this guy up here can he be seen I don't... No, he can't. Okay, fine. Well, why don't we start with him? Can I get a knife? Yes, I can! The knife can reach him. So just for speed, I'm afraid that guy got a knife. I never understood what these little green uniforms are. Not a clue what that is. Um, answers on a postcard for that one because I have no, no idea. Now, there are two other people up there as well. But they might get spotted by other folks. Uh, I'll just leave them there for a second. I'm going to come back down. And uh, I think we're just going to tackle these buildings next. Now, if I run as the spy, then Germans work out that I'm not a German. Because it's not like they ever run. Except always when they are on the alert. I might as well just keep using this tactic of... Uh, getting the spy to talk to them. Now there's two mechanics down here. Yeah, there they are. But I don't think they're going to see him. So I'm just going to keep punching them and taking them into the nearest room. That looks like an empty room. So nobody is no one's really going to find him in there. No one will ever find you. Um all right, so I'm going. what's in this building? What's behind door number one? It's usually mechanics in these buildings. Yeah, there you go. It's just a place to fix cars or something. So again, I can just talk to one of them. Uh, right 
he must not know why he is being spoken to. I'm just going to knock these guys down and tie them up. Again, you can use the firearms in the buildings, and I don't think it sets off any alarm. It's only outside that it seems to set off an alarm. Hello. I think I'm going to get Sapper over here for this, because this is where you start getting lots of heavy, heavy-duty weaponry. And so let's just keep moving our guys around together. Where's Sapper? He's a little bit... He's a little bit slower than Thief. Thief is the quickest, I think, followed by Green Beret. But the castaway in Savo Island is ridiculously fast, even though he's meant to be an older guy as well, so I I don't know why. I don't know why that is. Alright. But we haven't got Savo yet. Not the war in the Pacific. That will come shortly. So we've got two mechanics. We've got a guy up here who I don't think can see them. Ah, oh, and we've got this guy. This guy's walking around. So I think I'm going to talk to him next. And just distract him. I always try and put on the uniform of the highest ranking person there is. Because that way you're not having to worry about who you can and can't talk to. So I just leave the spy in usually a CO uniform. And it just, it just means there's one less thing to worry about. So he is now being distracted over there. Which means I can probably knock out these mechanics. Yeah, there we go. And I'm just going to chuck them in the window of this building so that they're not going to get spotted and untied. Yeah. Now, is he going to get seen? Yeah. I don't think he is. Whoop. No, I don't want to... Oh, what is that? Is that putting him... Is that you? Oh, you can hide a body in a drum. I did not know you could do that. Oh, no way, he's got a bomb. Okay, well, give that to Sapper as well. Uh, okay, this is where we're going to start running out of kit. Now, I'm just going to dump these whistles because and the binoculars. I, I've never used... <laughs> I'd, I've never used the, uh, the whistle uh, or the binoculars, really. I used the whistle, like, that one time with the security papers. Oh, yeah, we still haven't done the thing with the car, you see, because I swear... I swear you don't really need to, but anyway... To be fair, it says enter the base disguised as an official. It doesn't actually say. Uh, it does say steal a vehicle. Okay, fine. Well, all right. You know, we can do that in a minute. Um, but first, I'm just going to take care of this next guy. Who can see him? I don't think anyone else can see him. No, it looks okay. It looks all clear. So I'm just going to put this guy in. In here. Do you know what? The spy still has my knife. Because he picked it up when I knifed that guy on the roof. So I'm going to have to get that back off him soon. Um, now he's walking up and down. Okay, well, I'm probably going to knock him out next. I don't think anyone will see me if I do that. Yeah, we should be alright. But then I need to get my knife back because uh, I need it. I'll need it to do lots of other stuff. Do you know what? I think I can actually chuck him in the water. Which seems a bit inhumane when he's tied up and not actually dead, but it seems to count as the same thing. <laughs> Right, these whistles are getting to be a right pain. I, I, I always tried to ditch those pretty early. I'm probably going to do that soon. Let's go. So, at this point, um, yeah, nobody can actually see the gates now. So just so that I can tick off this, this objective, I am going to open the gate. Like that. And I don't think that sets off an alarm or anything. I'm now just going to take this car and drive it in the gate. But I have yet to see anybody do this. Like, when all the soldiers are here. These cars always seem to handle like a shopping trolley. <laughs> Alright, there you go. And now, I get my secondary objective of steal a vehicle. But yeah, very, very strange. 
you, they, they make all this business of, oh, you've got to get the security papers and you've got to use the dog and use the whistle and, you know, take away the first number you thought of and get it to the spy or whoever it is outside. You've got to pass the security papers and all this stuff. And then after all that, <laughs> the, um, they, they, don't, they don't open the gate for you. It's so strange. Anyway. We are now going to get rid of the last few guys over on this side of the map. There is this chap, and there is that guy up on the lighthouse. So I'm going to use the knife because he's standing in a bit of an awkward spot there. He was standing right at the top of the uh, stairs. He was, officer, I swear. I had no choice. It was self-defense. <laughs> I'm just going to take him up to the lighthouse. Give him a sea view. Um, and now, I think I'm going to use the knife again on this guy because anyone who's standing at a slightly awkward angle, you know, it's not, it's not really worth trying to, trying to uh, punch. Okay. Oh wait a minute! I need to go inside the lighthouse and have a look. I think I'm just going to bring Frenchie over the, over here for this because. There's no point in walking into rooms that we can't see into. Oh, and we've also got... It's a bit hard to see because there's a crane in the way, but I just wanted to check. Yes, that is an empty room. I thought so. And there's no furniture in there. Fine. Okay. So I'm just going to check inside the lighthouse. Oh, yeah, we've got one, one soldier. Well, I'm going to prioritize the guy with the gun. And... Uh, Diver can sort him out. And also this guy. Oh, he saw him. Well, too late. Okay. So we're doing well. We um we've cleared a lot of, of this area. If this was a real operation, this would be incredible. Like if this had actually happened. Right, okay, so there's only people in here who have got no weapons. Again, I mean, it doesn't really matter because they're not going to do anything, but if I run in and knock these guys out, it just means more neutralized enemies. <laughs> he literally stood there until the last minute. Oh, there's a box there. Okay. More goodies for Sapper. More goodies for Sapper. Okay. Uh, Sapper and Thief. Let's just bring you all over here. Keep them all together. Just going to look in here. Uh, okay, right, well at this point I'm just going to dump these these things. I was really just holding on to them just in case. Um, the mine detector is a bit of an awkward shape. Yeah, okay. And at this point, he's still got his knife, that's okay. I'll, I'll probably end up ditching the scuba gear as well, to be honest, but I'm just going to leave it for now. Ditch these whistles, they're a waste of time. Keep that, probably. Okay, fine, that's better. Okay. Now there's that other little building here, which is where the French Resistance guy was hiding. Well, not hiding, dying. <laughs> the guy that gave uh, the thief the um, the dog. The dog. Whoa, supper! I don't want to use you. Hang on. Come on, buddy. Whoa! I wanted to take this guy down. Yeah, there you go. Although, to be honest, I should probably be checking that, you know, this guy can't see any of this. Oh, no, we're okay. We're all right. In a moment. Okay. Yes. Now, if I remember rightly, there are... Yeah, there's a lot of guys with guns in there. I'm not sure how to get rid of them. Uh... Quietly. I, I don't think there's a way of doing that. I think even if you stand next to them... I'm just going to try a grenade in the door because... If it's inside a building, I don't think it sets off the alarm and... It certainly does the trick. Uh, Thief has got a metal box, so that's... One for him. Hello. A rocket launcher. Terrific. 
I think Thief can be kind of like Sapper in waiting. He can sort of just hold on to any of the kit that Sapper doesn't have space for. Let's go, sir. How are we doing for bonuses? Oh, Why not very hell? well. <laughs> okay, well, that is something to look out for. To be fair, we haven't been in a lot of buildings with much, with much furniture yet. And there's those guys up on the roof. There's a sniper. The snipers are a right pain. Um, yeah, I might get rid of them next, actually. I'm going to use Frenchie and... Yeah, I'll just use Diver. I'll keep using Diver for now. Once we get Green Beret, I'll probably start using him a bit more, but... Um, for now, I'm just going to use Diver. Now, I don't think if I talk to him... He's going to see anything he shouldn't know. We're all good. Can the sniper see him? Doesn't look like it. Ooh, can this sniper see him? More to the point. Yes, he can. Okay, so... He's the priority. And hopefully nobody saw that. Just got to get the knife back. That is the one problem. The one problem is that you do have to run to the body to get the knife back, even though you can do it from a distance. You don't just magically have infinite knives, which is pretty realistic. Okay. This is why I leave him in a, in a, a uniform, you see, so that uh, you can actually use up the uniforms and you can keep collecting them off people even if you just knock them out all right oh you, you can run over that roof I didn't actually know you could do that I thought you had to walk around it okay right uh, they're gonna go down the ladder and um, I'm gonna look inside this big building next which is the one where we met N Natasha in the uh, whoops in the previous level come on guys no 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 I don't want you to do that I want you to come down the ladder um, now I think they're building bombs in there because there's there's uh, there's something later about this is where they're building their Waiting. torpedoes. They're building torpedoes. It's a torpedo factory or something. This. Okay, so it was a good thing I went first in with Frenchie because there's this chap. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Let's keep using Diver because he's fully qualified. I'm going. Right, nobody's going to see him there. It's mostly mechanics around here. But I'll just talk to this guy. Three, two is better than three, so I'll just keep him facing the other way. And I'll knock these guys out one by one. The door is closed, so I know there's a, there's a lieutenant in there, I think. But he's not going to see it. Wow, how did that guy not see me? Need some eye tests, some of these guys. Not even kidding. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh. Close, but no cigar. Alright. Just one more mechanic. He's got a rope ladder. Again, a rope ladder was one I never used very much. I never used to find a use for that at all. Ah, some more... Some more um, stuff for the spy. That's good. That is good. You know what? I'm going to ditch the grappling hook at this point because I'm not going to need it again. Same with all of this stuff. I'm going to take that for the supper and the spy. And I'm going to ditch the harpoon. I'm going to keep the knife. Yeah, yeah I'm not going to need any of that. I don't think. Of course, if I do, then I'm in trouble because I won't remember where I left it. Hey, he's got a... A uh, blowtorch. All right. I didn't. I didn't know we actually needed that in this level, but let's take it anyway. If we have the room, I'll probably be dropping that again before I know it. Hey, there we go. More of that stuff, and a bottle. Fair enough. I might give the bottle to the spy because he might be able to throw that. You never know. Some more of his uh, narcotic or whatever it is. His poison. I think it's meant to be poison. Um, I'm gonna go in here now. So I've searched all that furniture. Just going to check this furniture as well. Hey, there's a bonus. That's what we want. More bombs for Sapper, who's soon going to be 
very heavy laden. And yeah. I'm just gonna take this guy out. Now the sound waves don't matter right now. Because he's not gonna look at me. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to move these bodies around the corner here because if I open that door, that guy is going to probably see them. Yeah. Alright, let's go through here. Ah, we got some more metal boxes, so we're going to use the thief for that in a minute. Whoops, there was another mechanic there. I didn't even see him. At least I hope he's a mechanic. Oh no, he's not! Crikey! Okay, well, uh, that just shows you should probably spin the room around each time you walk into it. <laughs> Did not know there was another soldier there. Dear me. Alright, well, you can have a knife. Ah, the yeah, mechanic heard that. He heard that alright, didn't he? Thief can run in and take care of that. Yeah, the commandos will always pick the shortest route possible if you tell them to run somewhere, so you've just got to be careful with that. He's not going to need cigarettes. There we go. Enigma machine I might want to hang on to, seeing as it's the whole point of the game. I can take care of these guys. This shouldn't be a problem. More silent, cloned mechanics. I think this is the switch for the electric fence. Um, I don't think I need to actually cut it, but even if I don't, I think I could turn it off anyway. Or is it even an option in this level? Ah, oh, maybe it isn't. I think that was only an option in Night of the Wolves. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, so that's that building done. That's the torpedo hangar sorted. So now we're going to go back out. So we've cleared a pretty good part of the map now, all the all the area by the uh, by this gate. So we're really just working our way building to building now. We've done, we, yeah, we've done this end. The closest guy now uh, is him, and I think there's another guy. Yeah, there's a guy there. Okay. Well, we can talk to the Leutnant first. I think it's Leutnant in German. The Lieutenant. Um, no, we're not. We're going to talk to this guy. Because he's seeing everything. And this is why I got rid of those guys out there. Because they would have seen me now as well. If I wanted to try anything dodgy. So I think I'm going to tuck in just against this building here. And when this guy comes back... Well, not, not right there, just around the corner. Your camouflaging is not the best, sir. Okay, when he comes back, zone E. How many zones are there? I keep seeing these labels on the floor. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. What is this, an airport? Yeah, there we go. I just wanted to get rid of him quickly before, the, uh, before he turned around. And again, I can actually put him... What am I doing? I can just put him in this window. And I think I can do the same with this guy. Because I don't think anyone can see him. Yeah. Actually, I'll put him in this little... This little place. Now, is that an empty room? Yes, it is. Okay. That is fine. I'm going... And we got the uh, the officers uh, the officers place in here to do. Hopefully the officers aren't looking. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, is this guy? Diver can come and knock him out. That doesn't matter. Yeah, there you go. You'd think the officers would be kind of in a bit of a tiz about their Enigma machine having been stolen literally from their office. Hey, another knife. That's great. But, um, yeah, it turns out they're not. Turns out they're not that bothered. <laughs> mm. I'm going to put him out there. Oh, he doesn't go out the window. All right, fair enough. 
So how am I going to take these guys down? Yeah. Well, I do actually have two knives now, so I might try try the knife if I can. Yeah, there you go. Yes. All right. I didn't have long to do that, but that did actually work. Okay. Check the furniture. More bonuses. Lovely. You know what? I'll use Spy to do this because he might be picking this stuff up. Yeah, lovely. Um, I don't need this uniform anymore. There's going to be a trail of random stuff left in random bits of furniture from this mission. Aha, and I can actually drug some of this wine. So if I did need to throw it at somebody, it says you can hit someone on the head with it as well. I never used to do that. But it uh, looks like you can. Can I get in the safe? The safe just isn't... Oh no, the safe is a thing now. Is there anything in the safe? Or is it just empty now? I need to re... No, it's not. Alright, so that's the general's office done. He didn't put up much of a fight. Next, this building here, which uh, I think has a load of scary guys in it, so I'm just going to go carefully. Yeah, a lot of scary guys. I'll bring Sapper because I'm going to use him anyway. If he ever gets there, there we go. More bombs, more bombs. Yeah, I, I never remember these names like Inferno and Spooky. I, I just remember them being called Sapper and Spy up here, but maybe that was just like the UK version of the game or something, I don't know. Because I've seen uh, I've seen the HD remaster and okay. the Steam version that this is both have those names. And I didn't, I didn't know that that's what any of their nicknames were or that that's what it said in the inventory. But anyway, um, okay, now this is where it gets tricky because all of these guys are going to spot me. So, I think a, I think a, I think a bomb or something might be the way to do this. I think bombs might be the way to go. So it might be from the other side. I think bombs from the from the windows might be the the way to go. Crikey, they all heard that. Need to be careful. Oh, now who can see him? I think. Yeah, that guy can probably see me there. Can he? Oh, no, not quite. Not quite. Okay, well. Let's try this with Sapper and see what happens. This might be a terrible idea. Wait, can anyone else see me from here? Can Oh, crikey, he's, he's, he's standing there as well. I should really sort of check out who is nearby before I try any of these silly plans. How many grenades have I got? I am out of grenades. Ah, uh, well, somebody, somebody's got grenades. Yeah, there you go. I'm just going to try this and see what happens. And then if there's any more, I think people might run up there. That's it. Yeah, there you go. This chap. Well, you're going to get one too. Is there anyone else now? Yes. I can still hear people shouting. Yes. Okay, there's one guy. Well, you're gonna get a rifle, I think. Yeah, there you go. So I could look like nasty SS guy if I really wanted to. Yeah, there you go. Um, Alright, so... I don't really actually need loads of this stuff now. Although I might hang on to the bomb. You know what? I might not keep the machine gun. I might just take that. As long as I've got one, I think I'll be okay. I've got loads of this stuff now. I need to use that on somebody. Um, 
And the med kit, somebody else has got a med kit, so you know what, I'll take that as well. Okay, so I think that's all the furniture in here. Because I've checked that one. Yep. Okay. Alright. Doing well. Now, the next bit is tricky because of that sniper. Where is he? I am actually going to try and get rid of some of those guys next because they are a pain. So I'm going to send Diver. As long as he's got... Yeah, he's got some cigarettes. He's got two knives. I'm going to send Diver. I'm going to send Diver and I'm going to try and climb up here and get rid of a few of these guys on the roof. And I might end up needing Frenchie as well. Yeah, you see, I thought his nickname was Frenchy, not Spooky. Like, the nicknames don't seem to have much consistency with all of the materials for this game. Like, sometimes I see these guys called... Like, Green Beret, I didn't know was called Tiny. Um, and that now seems to be his his character name on here, like a nickname. But, you know, let me know if you remember that, or whether I've just been imagining things. But I never thought he was actually called that on the game. Oh boy, there's the Jailer there. And there's a guy there, and there's a guy there. Yeah, they're all, they're quite well positioned. They're all covering each other. That sniper is who I really want to get, but in order to get him, I need to get him. In order to get him, I need to get him. So I'm just gonna clear a few people from this roof at this point, and that's gonna save some time later on. Okay. So I'm gonna begin by talking to this chap about the weather or something. Uh, now, what can he see? He can see him, he can see him just on the edge there, I think. And so can the Jailer, probably. What can he see? Oh, yeah, he can see him. Is he gonna see him there? I think he will. I think he would see him. I'm just gonna wait for this guy to walk down here again. He's just on the edge of what that officer can see, so I'm a little unsure of whether I'll get spotted, but I'll try it. If he turns the other way... Oh no, 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 no. I'll wait for him to walk away and then I'll try this. Okay. Well, he's either gonna... it's either gonna work or it's not. Hey, there you go. He was just out of view. That's great. That's really, really good. Okay, that means... I can also get rid of the guy that the spy is talking to. Because... Nobody can see him, I'm sure nobody can see him. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Excellent. So that's two guys from the roof. Got rid of. Oh no! The Jailer saw him. Ah, oh, the Jailer can recognise him. What do you know? Oh, maybe that's because I was running. I think that's because I was running. Okay. Of course, if I do get rid of this sniper, I need to make sure that nobody from down here sees him get killed. Because then they'll run up the ladder, and then it could all go wrong very quickly. I'm going to try and get rid of this guy next, this Jailer, because he's a pain. As long as he's not being seen by the officer, I think I can get him with Diver, because I'm in a uniform. Can't get him from here though, if I'm quick when he turns. Yes, there we go. And he's close enough to the centre of the roof that, uh, that we can get him. Now one of the objectives is find the prison key, and I believe that this big beefy jailer bloke, yeah there you go, he has got a key. Yes. I think uh, I'll give it to Frenchy. Don't need the security papers anymore, from what I know. All right. right out. Now we find out if anyone else <laughs> can see this sniper. I'm just going to. Yeah, I'm going to tuck. I'm going to tuck him out of the way, just in case. And if somebody runs up, 
I need to get my knife back and then probably hide somewhere and try and do the same to them. You see, I think there's going to be some people running up from here. Him, he's probably going to see. In fact, yeah, he's definitely going to see. Oh, all right. Well, let's see what happens. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I think another person was there as well. All right, well, I'm going to run and hide here and hope that... Oops. Oh, yeah, Frenchie is still there. All right, well, never mind. See if I can get anyone with the knife. If they face the other way, I might be alright. Yeah, they're facing the other way. I'm going. Yes, alright. Textbook. And that's why it pays to have two knives. <laughs> because then you can instantly throw another one. Okay, that was that was better than I expected, because now I've got rid of three instead of just one. Okay. Now there is another guy over there on that side of the roof, but I'm not... and there's the CEO. I'm not really too bothered about them at the moment. As long as I've got my key for later, um, I think we can go back down. It was really that sniper that I wanted to get rid of, because he was being a right pain. He could see so much of the area that we're about to do, so, um, so that's good. Okay. Now, I'm sure somebody else had something for supper, but I don't know if he's going to have room soon. Yeah, he's got loads of stuff. He's got loads and loads of stuff. But I know from playing this before that one of the things that we need to do is to get rid of some of the guns. So if I actually place the bombs now, it's going to save time later. One of them is this anti-aircraft gun, I think. So I'm going to put a bomb there now. And it means that I don't need to do it later. And in fact, I've just remembered, I'm pretty sure we need to do it to the torpedo hangar. So even if we don't press these buttons for ages, it just means that we don't need to run around and do all the all the bomb placing later. But it also just frees up some space because those bombs take up a lot of room in Sapper's bag or whatever he's <laughs> carrying them around in, so. This was a glitch. Whenever you Okay. arrive on a new character sometimes the camera keeps trying to pan back to them even if you don't want it to as if it's locked on camera mode and I never understood why all right no. let's see who's got stuff for him there we go now we freed up some space that's much better much better what about thief has thief got anything yet oh we've got so much stuff okay that's fine well thief can take the uh the med kit. Oh, he's already got one. Okay, fine, never mind. Never mind. I'll give it to Frenchie. Fine. Alright, there we go. So now we are ready to do the next building. So, let's see what we've got. I don't think anyone's going to see this guy now. Because we got rid of that sniper. Would cigarettes work on him? See what happens. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Okay. You know what? We've got a lot of our poison now, so we might as well use this to uh, knock him out. You only need to use two to knock him out. And then we can just tie him up. Seeing an SS guy tie somebody up is a bit strange. Somebody into some bondage fun. Okay. get our cigarettes back okay nobody in there with a weapon that's great I think we can just talk to one of them to make it a little easier oh you know we could actually do this actually no I'm gonna save that stuff unless I have to all right knock these guys down And we got two cupboards here, and these are probably going to have bonuses in, I reckon. I think these will have bonuses. Oh no, I got some food. Well, that would make a lot of sense, wouldn't it? It's the canteen, after all. Food and dog food and wine. That's all the furniture. Out we go. So you're really just clearing this from building to building. 
because we need to get maximum points for neutralized enemies. Okay, there's one chap watching another chap have a shower. Whatever floats your boat. Okay. Hey, more of this stuff. And another knife. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. Well, more poison for Frenchie. That's great. Okay, we're doing very well here. We are getting rid of these guys. He definitely has got no weapons on him. <laughs> so that's fine. In fact, you wouldn't even be able to nick his... No, you can't nick his towel. That would just be mean. Okay. Now, there's a bit up here, which is a sort of underground bunker with lots of people in them, I think. And we're starting to get to the point where there are people outside the wall again. And there's this big scary tank thing. I think I could probably use my poison for these guys up here. When they're not anywhere near anyone else. And if anyone runs up and sees them, then maybe I can do the same with them. Yeah, okay. I'm also just going to send Thief up here just to check this little room because sometimes there are boxes that only he can open and I don't know, there's a, there's a box. Well, we've actually got a rocket launcher. I don't think we need any more of this stuff. He just seems to be the best one to send for that sort of thing. Okay. You know what, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that poison thing again with this guy. Although, it might get seen by somebody else, so I'm just going to have to be a little bit careful here. No, I think I'm alright. I've got away with it. Okay. Excellent. And this is another of those guns that uh, you eventually have to destroy. So again, I'm going to save time later because I know what needs to be done later. I am actually going to send Sapper up here and plant another bomb okay. at this stage. I'm going to leave one there. And I'm going to leave yes. one next to this big AA gun or whatever it is. Yes. Once I get rid of this mechanic. And I think it's just this guy that might see that. So I just need to be a little bit careful of this guy. There we go. So I'm actually just going to use Sapper to get rid of this bloke. I don't think there's anybody else to worry about around here. Just going to take him out of the way. I'm not going to drop him through a window because I don't know who's on the other side. And I'm just going to plant another one of my bombs uh, just here. Because again, this is just freeing up so much space. Once you've played this once, if you know that you need to put these down anyway, I mean, why would you not? It's just good to put them down at this stage and then you can pick up more stuff. In fact, maybe I can get some more of... Yeah, you see, I can get more of Thief's things now. I'm probably not even going to need the mine detector again, to be honest. Uh, so I might... I'll just give that to Thief for now. Alright, so... Looking at the map, this guy is the next guy that we need to probably worry about. I think I can use Diver for him. So I'm just going to get this guy out of the way. I don't think... The way to check is, of course, to put that right next to him. And if nobody else shows up, then you're probably okay. Then you can knock him out and tie him up. I'm just going to tuck this guy around here. Seems like a good place to leave him. Alright. Now, there is a there is this long uh, bunker room along here, which I seem to remember has some, some Germans. Oh, wait a minute, there's another turret. 
uh, the turret here. Just check that there's nothing in there. No, there isn't. But I don't know who's on the other side. Yeah, you see there's a guy there. We might need to get rid of him soon. And I'm just going to crawl down here because, yeah, there's this guy and there's this guy. And they can see all sorts there. Okay. No, I'm not going to go in that door. That would be a terrible plan. I'm going to go in here with... Yeah, there you go. With this guy. Now, because of the shape of this corridor, I don't think he can see me from here. So I might as well talk to him. Get Diver in here. Knock him out. Yeah, I can't take any of this stuff. I'm 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 just too too heavily laden. But if you can take the uniforms, then it is good because, as I say, it does mean that they're not going to whoops, they're not going to uh, retaliate if somebody unties them. They just run out of the map. <laughs> I just like I've got to head to a clothing shop. Okay. Again, I can probably use guns in in here, and there are some rooms where I, I do, but if I can, I do it the stealthy way. Okay. Like these two at the far end, I'm probably going to have to get rid of them somehow that isn't, um, that isn't tying up. And sometimes if you can't tell who's through a ladder, that's a good idea as well. Okay, there's this little raised platform here. Alright, well I'm just going to talk to you. Keep him occupied. I can probably use a knife on this guy when he comes back. Where's he going to go? Yeah, he's going to go that way, fine. That should be... oops. Nearly walked into his view there. When he comes past, I'm going to knife him. Yeah, there you go. And he heard, but he ain't turning around. Okay, once again, I'm going to use Thief for this box. Hopefully he's going to pick the shortest route and just go through... Yeah, he's going to go through the sensible door. So many weapons in here! These guys are armed to the teeth. Same with this box. Just check out there. More poison. They love a good bit of poison, these guys, just lying around. Just going to give that to Frenchie. Now, I would use the poison on these guys. Actually, you know what? Maybe I can. Maybe I can use the poison on these guys. Because if I get rid of the one that's not the officer last, then, then I might be okay. If I get rid of the officer first... Yeah, you see. Ah, there you go. His buddy hasn't noticed. And, uh, well, I can use Diver for him. He's got a cosy little office, this officer. Look at it there with his little... He's got his little desk. Got his uh, desk drawer. Yeah, there we go. More of this stuff. That's good. Hopefully Sapper's not going to run into a load of enemies. Yeah, the good thing about the, um, the bombs that aren't the time bombs... The good thing about the blue bombs is that you can just set them in, a, in advance, like way in advance. And, uh, you know, just detonate them when the time comes. I'm just going to look up this ladder. Who have we got up here? Oh, one, one dude. Okay. And is that a metal box? I think it is. I'm just going to get rid of him. Alright. I think that is a metal box. Yeah, it is. I'm going to use Thief for this. Another metal box. Might have a bonus in it, might not. But I just like to check them all. More bombs! Alright, this is starting to get a bit silly. I think we're fine for bombs now, to be honest. <laughs> I'm fine for bombs, thank you very much. Alright. Okay. Let's go. How are we doing for bonuses? All right, we're getting better. This is the picture of the thief, I think, that one's going to become. 
Okay. So we've checked all of that. We've done the turrets. We're now down to this building here. So let's have a look in here. All right, just mechanics. That's nice and easy. Might as well just talk to one of them just to make it a little easier, but to be honest, we can just run in and punch this guy. Yeah, there you go. Don't see why not. Now, I think if I walk into his view, he is going to respond. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that is probably a good reason to respond. Whoops. No, I don't want to go through that door. I want to check this box. Now, I don't know what this does. Let's see what happens. Ah, it turns off those fences. Okay, fair enough. Well, I don't think we really need to, but um, actually, maybe we do if we're gonna if we're gonna cut through them later on with the wire cutters. Then I suppose that makes sense. All right, now we're getting close to the uh, the little railway station here, and pretty soon uh, we can call the green beret because that is where the radio is. I think if you actually use the radio by the front gate, you can call them as well. But I've just never I've just never done it that way. I've usually just done it the way that it tells you to, in the uh, in the briefing. So we just need to be a little careful of who can see who can see who here, because if I remember rightly, they're all quite close together by the uh, station. So I'm going to do the station next. But from the map, you can see that we are <laughs> we are we are clearing this this map out, which is great. Cracking level this. Really, really good level. So. Alright, there's nobody else there, but there are... Now, one of the guys on the platform actually saw the sniper and ran up there, so we got rid of one of them already. There's another guy on the platform there, it looks like. And I think there's a guy sitting... Yes, there's a guy sitting there. Okay. Well. If we get rid of some of these guys, I don't see why we couldn't use the radio. So I think I'll bring Diver in. Let's go. Cracky, that tank is close, isn't it? Let's go. Diver, you should be wearing your uniform, mate. Because if you wear your uniform, you run out of your uniform, you can collect some more. Got to catch them all, mate. Okay, I'll stop with the terrible Aussie accent now. On the case. Apologies for that. Okay. There is another guy kneeling over there. I think he's not going to move, actually. I think I'm just going to bring in the diver. Bring in the diver! Yeah, the, the knife throwing is probably the best thing about him, I reckon. Makes him very useful. He's got no weapon. Come on, buddy. But yeah, they do not say a word, do they? They just, they just carry on. Alright, so at this point, we can... I think, call the Green Beret. You took your time. Tell me where to land. That's action. I want some of it. Alright, so we've now got this parachute icon here. And uh, that means we can decide where, phenomenally specifically, <laughs> the Green Beret will land in his parachute. So I think... I think we could land him uh, somewhere somewhere far away like let's land him here let's land him in the front gate just so that we know that there he is with his parachute just so that we know that he's not going to get spotted by anyone and now of course this is another person who can start carrying all this stuff because we're carrying a lot of stuff with us on this on this mission a lot of stuff just a lot of heavy stuff to carry so we could probably start doing more of the level with him now um, Although, as I say, the diver does have the advantage that Barry can't throw his knife. But what I am going to do is I'm just going to give him a uniform to start off with because uh, it's always better if you can not be seen from a distance. Another whistle. The whistle and the radio. I never really got the radio. Like, I know, I know what it's for. It's just that I never really bothered to use it. I didn't really... I never really found myself going, oh, I really want to use the radio for this, for this moment. <laughs> okay, now more guys with guns in here. This is this is a bit trickier. Perhaps there's a way of doing this. 
we've got barrels in here, of course, as well, and the barrels are flammable, so you could have some nasty fun with that. We miss you. In fact, if I open that door and stand here, I might be able to reach a barrel with a gun, or well, maybe not. Okay. Beret should probably hide just in case this doesn't work. Same with Diver. Just gonna make them hide over there. Oh, yeah. To be honest, this might uh, this might actually kill Frenchie, so this might not be a good idea, but let's see what happens. Oh no, there you go, it got rid of quite a few of them, and once again, no alarm. Now, this final guy, I'm just going to use the poison on, because he's like, he's all agitated at the moment. Oh, does the poison not work on him when he's agitated? Come on, buddy. Alright, well... In that case, you're getting a gun, buddy. Sorry about that, but you used up a lot of my poison just then. I did not know that that didn't work. Turns out you can't poison people when their friends have recently been killed. Who knew? <laughs> okay, so how are we doing? Is there any more furniture in here? No, I don't think so. And if I remember rightly, out this door, there's a dude sitting on the... Uh, Sitting on the platform, yeah, there you go. And there's another guy over there who can probably be seen by somebody. They're all watching each other, these guys. Ah, oh, but nobody's watching him. Well, I could probably send Beret for him. Don't see why I couldn't. Let's see what happens. Does he walk out the correct door? That would be a start. That's it. Crikey, that was close. Okay, a rifle's a good start. Beret. Get all that nice and tidy. Okay. Now this becomes tricky because we've got the guy on the platform and we've got these guys here. Uh, we've got a guy up on a balcony. They're all they're all looking at each other again. Oh wait a minute, there's this room as well here. Whoops, I just got spotted. I briefly got spotted by somebody. Oh yeah, okay, we've got officers in here. Again, I think we can use Beret for this. Where are you? Just check he's going the right way and he's not just wandering off. There, they do pick the shortest route, these guys, so you just have to be a little bit careful. Oh, crikey. Okay, well, I didn't mean for that to happen, but I don't think... Uh, I didn't think there's going to be any, any repercussions there. I just want to check all this furniture. In fact, I'll give him some food just to replenish him. Okay, that's, that's all there is in this room. There's just those two. Okay. All right. You know what? I could probably use cigarettes for this guy, or or somebody. Um, I'm going to keep Green Beret inside the building, and I'm going to use. I'm going to see what happens with cigarettes. See if I can get rid of somebody. Yeah, there you go. All right, he's going inside, which means he's probably going to come out of that door. I've also got this mechanic though to worry about, so at least he doesn't have a gun. Maybe he can get out of that door. I don't know. Okay, so in a minute, he's going to come out, and then I'm going to talk to him by the cigarettes. Because they're a pain, these people that are on balconies, because if you're not careful, they run out as soon as you do something. There we go, that's what I wanted to happen. Alright, well, I'm just going to use... I'm just going to use the knife on him. And just quickly get him out of the way. Okay. Great. So, there's the mechanic, but I'm not too worried about him. I think I'm just going to talk to... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, there's another guy there. They all overlap. I might be alright knocking out this guy, because this mechanic is just out of sight. Yeah, he's okay. He's okay. I'll put him in that window. That's fine. No one will find him there. Okay. Yeah, the window thing is quite handy. It saves a lot of time. Uh, now, I can't knock him out because he's going to get seen, but I could throw some cigarettes for the other guy and then hide. And then I'll release that guy who's now having a conversation with Thin Air. 
and talk to him instead. Whoops. Okay. Let's take him down. Okay, we'll drop him in the window too. And now I don't see why we couldn't just do the same with... Oh, the mechanic's seen the cigarettes. Well, it's his own fault. It's his own fault. If he's going to come and get the cigarettes, I'm going to take him down as well. Oh no, he's spotted somebody. He spotted a tied-up guy, and now he's got confused. Well, I don't know what you want me to do, buddy. So I'm just going to make it easy for you. I'm going to come and get rid of you because you were being a pain. Yeah, they, they sort of get confused when they see something briefly and then see something else, and they sort of don't know whether to respond to one or the other. <laughs> so that's very odd. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So that's one less... Oh, there's a sniper there. It's scary when you don't see these guys at first. Look, I was just, I was just on the edge of what he could see. But I think I can take him and him, and nobody will see. So I'm just going to try and do that now. French, you can pick up these cigarettes again. Yep. All okay. He's standing in a kind of an awkward place, so I think I'm just going to use the poison on him because I'm not sure if I can get up behind him. So I'm just going to raid his supplies there and carry him away. Oh, there's a ladder there. I never even knew that. Okay. So, I think now we can move down to this end of the map. We are approaching the end of the buildings here, although we've still got these guys outside. So I'm going to go and talk to this sniper next, and then I'm going to send Diver after him, because Diver can obviously use the, the knife from a distance. I'm going to put Green Beret out of the way for a minute. Righto, Diver. Now, there are several people again who can see each other, but I think I could start off by talking to this guy. And now let's try and get Diver underneath him. Or, or close enough to use the knife, anyway. Yeah, lots of people can see that guy. But if they run in, maybe I can set a trap. I think I'm going to have a go with the knife, and then see what happens. And if any of them run up there, maybe I can get rid of them as well, because I've got three knives. Alright, here we go. Yeah, somebody definitely saw that. Somebody saw that. But I'm going to try and do the same with this guy. Yeah, he can't see me from where he is, that's good. But am I... is it going to be too slow? Oh god. Yeah, another person saw. I do have one more knife, though. So... Oh man, loads of people saw. Alright, now I've run out of knives. But... Now, I think I can't use the poison anymore. I think I've worked out that that doesn't work. Oh no, it is working there. Oop, I'm being... I'm being kicked by this guy. Okay, good. Well, I can't pick up those knives, but I can. No, I don't want to pick up the knives, buddy. I want to tie this guy up. Uh, better pick them up first, just so as it doesn't get confused. Right out. Right out. You're meant to be in a uniform, buddy. Alright, that's it. That's it. So I've tied him up. I've got rid of several of them now. Uh, that probably actually worked better than I hoped, because... Now that's a few more down, outside. Have we got any food? Yeah, he does have some food. Great. Okay. All right. And actually, that got rid of all of those guys over there. Fantastic. So we got one more building to check out here. Okay. Well, again, I'm not really sure whether I can get rid of these guys. Might need to be a... Might be a rifle for these guys, I think. Uh. 
Oh, okay. You couldn't see him from there? Oh, well, there you go. That's what happens. That's what happens, man! Alright. Now there's a box over here. Ah, oh, just in time, getting more of that and another knife. Fantastic. I don't think I need those. No, I do need the keys. Of course I need the keys. I'll get rid of the uh, the food. That's fine. Alright. So that's that building. Now there is actually... There are more buildings up here. There's a lot of little rooms in this level to check on. A lot of little rooms. Now there's nothing in there, but I'm just going to gonna get rid of these guys that is a gate control but I don't actually need to open that so I'm just gonna get rid of this and again I I can make noise in here and it's fine so he might get a machine gun I'm afraid this guy oh I don't have a machine gun well, he'll get a rifle then ah, there's some furniture with a bonus Yeah, if you make noise in, in the buildings, I don't think it raises the alarm. Uh, if you if you make noise outside of the buildings, I think it's another story. Great, it's now just the people on the roof by the looks of it. So I'll just check the, check out this gatehouse as well. Yeah, we got another box here. We got loads of... Aha, uh, uh -huh. now there's another ladder here, so I've... Uh, one plan might be that if you fire a gun upstairs, then these guys climb the ladder. I think that's what usually happens. I oh, know I'm on the roof. All right. Well, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Well, I can probably check out on this box. Ah, oh, there's a flamethrower there. Again, probably not gonna need that, but might take that. Um, I think. Let's see. Perhaps this will work. If we fire our gun. Yes, there they, there we go. Now they get shot. Alright, great. Um, okay. So we're getting close now to clearing all of these guys. Ah, oh, there's that little shed there. Is there anyone in there? I remember there's the dog pound here. Okay, there's just this guy. Alright, I'm getting much worse at uh, sparing people's lives now. What does that do? Does that do anything? Oh, it just makes steam come out. Okay, now that can that can kill people if they walk into it in certain rooms. There's the dogs over there. That's fine. He's there at the top of the stairs. Um, oh, now this. This is uh, the fuel depot. And we also need to destroy that later on. So... Once again, because I know about this in advance, I'm going to place the bomb now. And that is going to solve the problem later on. Come on, Sapper. Come on, buddy. Now, I'm probably going to have to be a bit louder outside the fence because um, there's quite a lot of them still left. Okay, brilliant. So that's all our bombs placed. Um... And I'm just going to tuck everybody, I think, around this corner. So these guys can follow suit. Yeah, you see they're doing exercise. That might have to be a grenade. The tank is probably going to have to be a rocket launcher or a grenade. Alright. Uh, I'll stick with Diver. I'll stick with Diver. He's been good this level. So now I need to work out how to do these bits out here. Oh, we got an officer there. I need to be careful because I'm standing right next to an open door. Not the smartest thing to do. Perhaps I can get him with the knife. Yeah, I might try and get Diver out here and round the corner. In fact, probably do the same with the spy. Ah, oh, yes. Now, I thought there might be another person over here. Is he going to stop there and have a smoke? Yeah, he is. Okay. But for how long? I don't know. This might be a bit silly. I just thought maybe I could get rid of him at the same time. Yeah, there you go. Tell you what, multiple knives, man. That is the way. 
That is the way. If you can get more than one, it is a brilliant, uh, it is a brilliant method with the diver. Because suddenly, if there's two of them standing next to each other, it's not a big deal if one of them spots you. I guess we could actually drive that car if we needed to, but I don't think we do. I'm going. All right. Good. So we've got loads of them up there. Yes. And there seems to be one other guy before we get there. Yeah, there he is. They're all doing exercises. Then we've got... Mm, yeah, okay. All right. We miss you. We've got him there. I wonder if anyone will hear a gunshot from here. We. They might do. Then again, they might not. I don't think they will. No, nobody heard that. That's fine. Okay. I think they've got to be closer to here. Now, what I'm going to do... I think I'm going to send the diver back inside. And I'm going to send the sapper to blow up the tank. And then probably... The same with these guys. Who else have we got? Uh, we got the tank, we got probably, yeah, we got two more guys on foot, I think, yeah. Let's go! Alright. I'm gonna try the rocket launcher, I think, on this tank. As soon as it's not looking. Okay. And I think. Yeah, you know what? The thief has got the. Thief has got the rocket launcher. So I'll give. I'll give that to Sapper. Okay. And I think I might be able to reach it from here. There you go. And then, I think the, uh, the guys doing their exercises are now gonna jump up and start running around. Where have they gone? They were there, there they are. They're already there. Okay, well maybe I can get them with a grenade. If I'm very quick. Oh no, they've run away. That's annoying. Yes, well, I can get him with a grenade. Yeah. They ain't happy now, these guys. They are gonna start being a pain. Okay, well at least they're all safe. I think I can get them with a um, a grenade or the rocket launcher, but I can throw the grenade without being seen. Oh, they literally just realised this has happened. Let's see if we can get them with a grenade. Oh no. It's going to take a few. Yeah, there you go. Alright. Now it's just this guy. Does Steve have a weapon? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, he doesn't have a weapon. Alright, well... I've got a rocket launcher, which is kind of overkill, but there's this there's this guy here who I need to get rid of, so is a rocket launcher kind of overkill? Crikey. Alright, well... We are now kind of at the stage where I think we can kind of get everybody down here to check out the prison. Who have we got left? We've got the the officer on the roof. And then we've got these these guys around the back here. Oh yeah, that's the same guy. Okay. Alright. Let's go and check it out. No, oh, I can't remember if the dogs actually start barking. I think they do. I think if you if the dogs spot you, they do actually bark. So although I'm going to bring Diver near here, I'm going to put him in a uniform, just in case. I'm and I'm just going to leave him down here. I'm, going. I'm not going to bring him up the up the ladder too, too far. Yes. <laughs> and Spy, I'm going to talk to this guy and just distract him. 
And I'll see if I can... They might start barking if they see me on this ladder, but... I'll try and get this guy with the knife as soon as I can get close enough. There you go. It's it. Oh, they did stop barking. The dog did stop barking, I think, there. But too late. Alright. And now I think we're just down to the officer, which is great. So again, I think I might be able to get, get him from here. Or if not, maybe a little closer. If you like. Oh, what do you know? He stopped just at the right moment. Okay, so... We can now get everybody uh, near the prison roof. Now, who's got the key? The spy's got the key. Which I think is what you need to get in this this door. Actually, no, you, I don't think you needed to get in that door. I think you need it in order to get into the place where the prisoners are. Okay, Diver can run in here and sort this guy out. And this guy. Who, once again, is not paying attention. Thief needs to get in this metal box. So he can run up there. The dogs can bark now and it doesn't really matter. No one's gonna... No one will hear. Okay. More rocket launcher. Well, I'll give I'll give it to I'll give the poison to uh, to the spy. Okay. Four knives now for diver. That's great. All right. So now we can see what's down this ladder. Going to send the spy down first, as usual. And here is the submarine hangar. Now, in the HD remastered version, I believe they've got rid of all the swastikas, which is a bit annoying because it makes it less okay. accurate. Um, but this being the original version, uh, it's all there. I'm ready, sir. Okay, so... Yeah, you can actually go in through those doors, so yeah. I'm just going to get Diver and Thief. I'm just going to send them down there, and I'm pretty sure they can all just run in through those doors when the time is is needed. Um, okay, who have we got here? We've got some guys there. We've got a guy down there. I reckon we can use Diver just to run in here. Yeah, there you go. He's got a uniform, so, you know. Ah, now, they've finished their conversation now. That's a bit of a nuisance. But I think I can, yeah, I can get him with the knife. Hopefully that guy won't see him. Oh, gosh, that was close. Yeah. Alright, well, I better talk to one of these guys. Yeah, okay. Crikey, that was close. Okay, take him down. On the case. Oh, now there's another guy there. And... I don't think anyone else is going to see me In a moment. if I knock this guy out. Hopefully not. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Anyone in here? Yeah, there is. One bloke in here. No, I want you to talk to you. Come on, man. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Box there. More stuff to blow things up with. Okay. What does this do? Oh, no way. That shuts that door. I did not know that. Okay. Now they can all run into this this little room. I don't see why they can't just come in there now. 
I swear the buildings are bigger on the inside than on the outside. It's like the TARDIS, this, this place. Like, that definitely looked smaller on the outside, that building. And this whole submarine hangar looks massive now, compared to what it's like outside. <laughs> okay. Just going to keep clearing this area now. Ah, there's another guy there. And another guy there. I think I might use Frenchie for this. Just limit the number of people that are moving around. Yeah, that's better. Actually, it would be better if I got in for a different angle. Yeah, that's better. That's much better. Alright. Okay. So yeah, so I'm just clearing these guys one at a time and I need to get to the far side of this hangar because there's a uh, there's a kind of planning room in there with lots of guys and small boxes and things like that. But Oh man, there's loads of them. Now the annoying thing about this is the map doesn't actually show you a plan of this room, it just shows you it just shows you this uh, the the original map with a kind of a square around it. So I'm just going to hide these these folks at the back here. I'm going to uh, run out of uniforms again soon at this rate, or run out of space for uniforms, I should say. I think I can get him from there. Yeah, I can. And you can dump the bodies in the uh, in the docks here if they're not dry docks. But um, he does kind of wander down to the to the water edge, yes. and I'm not sure the best way of going that way without getting spotted. I'm going to use the knife again on this guy because he's standing at a bit of an awkward angle. If the, if the, if it's easy to knock them out, then I knock them out, and I'll sort of use the knife if if it's a bit hard to. Um, to get round to them. You never quite know which way a commando is going to go. Okay. Well. Let's go. I think we can keep doing this. No one's going to see me here. This guy's kind of guarding this door. So he can, he can probably have a knife. Yeah, there you go. The ones sitting down always just drop down instantly. They don't sort of stagger or fall over or anything like that. They seem to fall over much more quickly. Right, he's got no weapons so I might as well punch him. <laughs> they sort of get confused and then run away and then see you again. Very strange. Alright. Can I drop them in the water? Oh yeah, there you go. Uh, so we've got another box here for Thief. Thief can run in and do that. Yeah, he's fast, the Thief. Alright, more bombs, but no bonus. I just wondered if there was a bonus in there, that's all. Alright. And I think I'm going to use Sapper as well. I'm going to I'm gonna bring these guys in at this point. I'm just going to bring them in. I have a feeling that there might be a lot of guys in here. I seem to remember there were lots of guys, so we might use Sapper for that with something yes. explosive. Okay. Alright, yeah, there are lots of guys in here. So, let's talk to him. I think we'll get Sapper in here for this, because this is... Yeah, this is probably going to need something explosive. And what I'll do is I'm going to cover this whole area with the spy's gun. I think I'm going to use a grenade and then if the others run in, then it's fine. Right, let's see if a grenade will do the trick in here. I think it will. I think it'll get rid of all of them in this room. Yes, it has. Okay, and then if the others run in... Yep, there you go. Okay. And you know what? It's like a captain or something. Yeah, I'm tired of being an SS guy. I'm going to be like a captain. There you go. 
<laughs> vary the wardrobe a bit. Now the thief has got a metal box here. No more bonuses though. All right, we're doing well. We're waiting. Orders, sir. We are doing well. Now, pretty soon, we're going to find the uh, the spot with all Thank these you. with all these prisoners. Right In fact, I might do that next. That is what the key is uh -huh. for. Frenchie has the key. I'm going. Okay. We're quick. Move him. Yeah. Now we can probably release our prisoners and uh, find out what they're going to say for them. I seem to remember they're from Liverpool. All the uh, all the sailors, all the uh, all the Allied sailors are from Liverpool. So let's see what they say if I rescue them. Cool. Here we go. Oh, thank you. We were thinking you'd given up the search. We have to rescue our captain. Damn Nazis! Let's destroy the hangar while they fix their torpedoes. This'll disable them for a while. Alright, so... We can untie all the sailors and make sure they stand up. I think we just talk to each of them like that. Or maybe they untie each other. Yeah, they do. Okay, that's great. To be honest, I can probably just leave them in there. I don't think I need to bring them with me at this stage. Okay. Now, who else we got? We got folks over here. I might go this way now and talk to this guy on the sub. I think he's going to be the problem. Right. Yeah. All right. And Diver, I'm going to now use to get rid of these guys. Now if I'm quick enough... Yeah, there you go. Can take down him. Drop him in the water, actually. In a That's a nice, easy solution. I swear this is based on the submarine hangar from Raiders of the Lost Ark. It looks very, very similar. <laughs> I'm going. It belongs in a museum. Alright, um, I think I can chuck him out there. Ah, this world's smallest balcony. Okay, now the reason that I got Frenchie to talk to him is because there's all these folks over here, but it, it's just one less person to worry about. Before I do this though, I'm just going to tuck away these guys because they really shouldn't be waiting there. <laughs> Yeah, I've got a got a lieutenant over there. Ah, you know what? I might actually get rid of them first. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get rid of them first. I'm going. Otherwise, I think this is gonna cause more problems. It's quite a big hangar. This there's lots and lots of space. Yeah. Ah, you know what? I can't get rid of them because he's there. He's seeing them as well. I need to reposition the angle at which I'm talking to this guy. There we go. Now that's better. Now I should be able to get this guy. Yeah, and I have done. And now I should be able to get this guy. And I have done. Crikey, he was there, but he didn't see me. That's good. Okay, that was a better way around to do that, I think. Because... Otherwise, I think that lieutenant would have seen... Would have seen me. I love how you can carry a body around. And as long as you're carrying a body in a uniform, they go, ah, it's just... It's just, uh... One of my guys. <laughs> okay, so... If I tuck these bodies in a little bit... That should be okay. Now, if I run round to this side... I don't think... I think there's enough of them that it's fine. 
All right. Let's go. So now I'm going to come up here and probably take down this guy shortly. What can he see? Yeah, he can't see him from there, actually. That's good. Yeah. But he might start to see if I cause a lot of noise. So I'm just going to reposition again. Uh, this time over here. Yeah, there we go. Let's go. And now I think I can take this guy down. Mm -hmm. And even though he's going to see him... Come on, buddy. You can do it. I'm going, I'm going to hide out here. Ah, uh, he's... Yeah, okay. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. I thought. I think that's what I thought he was going to do. Now, if he turns around, which they sometimes do... Yes! There you go. Two and one. Mm -hmm. It's it. No worries, mate. And then these guys, I can probably just... Oh, okay, I'll knife one of them, and then... Alright, I'll knife two of them, and then the third guy I can just knock out. Really? You're not going to do anything? Hey, can you not see me? Wow, I guess you can't. Okay, well... Fair enough. I'm very surprised I thought he'd be able to see me. But, you know, whatever. Oh, come on. They get a bit confused when you try and get them to climb ladders. I find these guys. Okay, so that's taken care of all of them. And uh, now it'll be the guy on the sub. Can I reach there with a knife? Yes, I can. Amazing. Right, well, he can pick up my knife. I don't need any of that. That's fine. Good. We're doing well. We're doing well here. So that's that's kind of like one one side. That whole side is clear. Uh -huh. We got this guy up here, and then we got a couple more guys over there. Okay, I think we'll keep using Frenchie for this, at least for some of it. Ooh, okay. I guess they can tell that he's a spy if he runs, even when he's in the light green. I didn't know that. Yeah. Now, there might be a mechanical two down in the uh, dry dock, but I don't think they're going to be a, a problem. And this, I think, is the room which has the captain in, so we're probably going to probably gonna do that soon. In a moment. Probably going to free him shortly. But first, I think, just as a guess, but if I drop oh, that nice. and he runs down there, yeah, there you go. With any luck, I can sneak up on him one way or another around this around this post. Is he going to double back? Sometimes they do. No. You know, he's going to stay there. Alright, well. In that case, you're going to get a knife, my friend. Alright. Alright, so, who else have we got over here? We've got, now we've just got these guys. How far does he walk? Is he going to see that body? In a moment. If he does, I can just do the same trick. I'm going. Yeah, he's seen it. He's seen it, so he's going to come down the same ladder. This is quite useful, really. In a moment. He's seen the body. Now, is he going to turn around, or is he going to stay there? No, he's ah. going to stay there too, okay. Oh man, that spoiled my perfect pattern. Well, never mind. You're going to get some more mechanics now running over, I think, or some more sailors, whoever they are. Yeah. You know what? If I'm quick enough, I might be able to use knives on these guys. Yeah, I can. I can. Oh man. You're getting, getting it from all sides. I'm running out of knives. You know what? Time for a rifle. There you go. <laughs> the time for subtlety is clearly passed. No, I don't want the bodies, I want the knives. Yeah, and again. There you go. Alright. 
There's a mechanic over there. Well, there's two mechanics over there. Okay, well... Fine. I can send somebody to deal with them. I got just the guy. And I think that's probably most of the guys got rid of now. Does he have a weapon? Yeah, yeah, he does have a weapon. That's fine. You know what? He can have a knife. Wow, it is taking more than that to... Um, <laughs> slitting a guy's throat isn't going to cause a problem for about 10 seconds. Okay. And I'm just going to search... You know what? While I'm with Green Beret, I might as well just search these other little rooms. Because some of them have things in, I think. Actually, I might do it with Thief, because if if they've got metal boxes in, then I'll just do it with Thief. And then we'll go and rescue the captain from the, uh, from the room. I'll just give Thief a gun. Yeah, we're not going to need a uniform, I think, either. Alright, let's see what's in here. Yes. Oh, there's a dude in there. Well, not for long. Hi. Okay, there was no furniture in that one. Here we are. Oh yeah, Greenberry likes to jump down ladders. That's another funny one. Except Thief, I'll send them all back around there. Just check in here. Oh, there's another metal box there, actually. Okay. Anyone in there? Yeah, there's a guy in there. This isn't the one that we need to open. I think it's the other the other door. That'll probably open one of these two one of these two hangar doors. Alright. Okay. Let's just check in there real quick. Yeah, grenades. It's fine. Okay. It's quite a long level, this one, but I mean, it's 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 a wonderfully kind of in-depth one. You get to see all these all these cool places in the submarine base. It's a bit of a shock after Night of the Wolves because that's such a short one. Okay, so now we just need to rescue the captain and open the submarine door, and then it's just the sub. Can probably do a bit more of this with our poison. we chuck him out a window and will that guy see? Don't see why we can't. Oh no, he's not going to fall out a window, fair enough. Got some life jackets here, this is like their little... their little uh, supply den. I'm going to give a diver again. Yeah. Okay. Down he goes. Down he goes, because he's at an awkward angle. Just going to raid this place. So many knives. And more poison. That's fine. Now, I don't think there's anyone directly up these stairs that's going to be a problem, but, but we'll see. He's not going to see me if I come up the stairs, is he? I hope not. Don't think so. I'm going. All right. And him. I'm going. All right. Bonus time. That's it. Probably nearly got all the bonuses, although there's quite a lot of pieces in this one. Yes. And I think here I might just use a gun. I think I'll set up a gun, and then maybe knife one of them. Let's go. I'll try and... Nah, there's an officer there. Yeah. I can't reach him until he walks back in front. There Let's you go. go. Oh, are they not going to react to that? They were reacting to my footsteps more than the guy getting knifed. Fair enough. Well, if they run over here... Yeah, there you go, there you go. Alright, that's what I've intended to happen. 
Ooh, and we got some secret documents there as well. That looks important. This, I think, is the door that's correct. Yeah, that's the one. You can tell because it's got the grass by it. So that is the door that will allow the submarine to leave. And I think that means that that'll be ticked off in our uh, secondary objectives. Now, the, um, the Liverpudlian soldiers told us to destroy the torpedo hangar. And the captain is now going to tell us to destroy some other stuff as well. And then we can detonate everything at once. Thank God. I hope the Nazis didn't dismantle my submarine. We must also destroy all the fuel deposits at once. Don't forget, we must destroy all the anti-aircraft guns too. Alright, there we go. So, with any luck, we should be able to do all this at once. And aren't you glad you put all those bombs there? Because... You can do it all in one go. And we don't need to run all the way back. So that's the fuel, two of the AA guns. That's the whole uh, torpedo factory and the other AA gun. And now, destroy the torpedo, destroy the AA guns, destroy the fuel tanks. Yep, yeah, all sorted. Brilliant. So it was good placing all those when we could. Alright, Diver's got his knife back. And out we go. So it should, it should now just be the sub. Ah, oh, but we need to get our, um, we need to get our yes. allied sailors. Uh, does he not have the key anymore? Oh yeah, it doesn't matter. It obviously is a little glitchy. So we've got our sailors. We're ready. So go. that is all the people we need. We're ready. This alert is now going off because I blew everything up, but like, there's no way of not <laughs> setting off the alert. Okay, so now it's just the sub, and then I think we are done. So, I'm just going to go down there first with the spy. And I reckon there'll be some, some last minute furniture in here as well. Yeah, we still got a fair few, still got a fair few um, pieces of the bonus to get. Alright, come on then buddy. Let's find an angle for you to, to hide. Yeah, this is like the diver's level, this one. This and White Death, I um, I always thought you used him a lot in these ones. There we go. Alright, no, I don't want to knife the spy. Why would I want to do that? <laughs> but if I fire a gun in here, I believe they are going to hear it in the next part of the sub. So I'll just try and do this with the knife as well if I can. There we go. Now I don't think there's any furniture in here. It doesn't look like it. Okay. Now there's a ladder here as well, so I'm just going to look up the ladder. Yeah. Oh man, there's a there's an officer in there. Probably should have checked that. You know what? I think I can use poison on him. And if I'm very quick, drop him down the shaft. Yeah, there you go. And then I don't think there's anything out here. I think it's just out to the, uh, the top of the tower. Oh no, there is... I'm wrong, there is a guy. But if I fire a gun... And then cover the shaft... Uh, I might get that other guy coming up here. I might not. Yeah, maybe I don't. There was another guy, right? Yeah, there was. Yeah, he didn't hear. What do you know? He wasn't close enough. Okay, fine. Well, he'll have heard that. I think that's the ladder that goes to the top of the sub. Yeah, there you go. Okay, fine. So there's nothing beyond there. So I'm now just going to go back down. I'm out of um, rifle now. Oh, no way. I threw, <laughs> threw him down a ladder. And these guys haven't seen? That's hilarious. I completely forgot that they were there. Now, have I been this way? Or is this... No, I haven't been that way. I'm just going to get the... Um... No, I don't want to go up the ladder. I just want to get the... The rifle from the um, the diver. 
because I think it'll be more useful, me holding on to it. I'll take his ammo. I'll take some ammo, that's fine. Alright. So, what do I want to do here? I'll poison this guy. And then I reckon if I if I fire at this guy, the other guy will run through the door. Or maybe he doesn't hear. I could have sworn they hear through the door, but maybe they don't. Maybe they've got to be really close to the door. Doesn't look like there's any furniture in there either. I was kind of expecting there to be. Alright, just you. Yes, only you. There's a bonus. Brilliant. That's got no bonus. Just trying to find all the bonuses now, really. I don't think those... Those look like furniture, but I don't think they are. How am I doing? Two left. He's just... I thought he was an officer. No, he's not. He's just a... Oh, man. He's gone out through that door. And now he's going to kick up a right fuss. Not if I, um... Kick up a fuss first. There's a chessboard in there. They play chess, these guys. Okay. Furniture. No bonus there, either. I might have missed one. Yeah, it looks like I've missed one. Oh, wait a minute, I think it's the same one I forgot last time. I think it's just inside uh, where we just found the captain. Just sent the thief because he's the quickest. I think it might have been... I think it might have been one of the ones in here. Yes. Ah, yes, there it is. All right, brilliant. Great, that didn't take too long. Okay. So now, I think we've cleared this whole sub, we've got all the enemies neutralized, we've done all of our objectives, and we've got all our bonus pieces. So now, ready, if we send everyone down the ladder, that should trigger the end of the level. But sometimes it doesn't get them all in one go, we just need to do it manually. Alright, here we go. And that is the end of Dust Boot Silent Killers.